I'm Insomniac and this is Kicking Horse Grizzly Claw Coffee. All right, so first of all, big shout out to Rosemary for uh, giving me this bag of coffee to review. Really appreciate it. Although as a small side note, uh, neither her nor I can actually remember if she was definitely the one that purchased this. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, one of my subscribers also sent in a bag of Grizzly Claw and I didn't write down who it was, so. Bravo, wow. If you're that person, I apologize and thank you very much. If not, then just thanks to Rosemary. Very simple packaging, but it works, does the job, has a lot of writing on it really, not much for graphics. There's a section about it being fair trade coffee, there's a section about the organic side of it, about this blend, there we go, something about the coffee. From the heart of the mountains a strong spirit roars. This is the most magical hand mother nature can deal, and it's headed for a mug near you. That doesn't really tell me much about the coffee, that's pretty epic though. Mm -hmm. Ah, Central and South America, so okay, got that. Then over here it says, wake up and kick ass. That's pretty cool. It says, mm-hmm, that's the sound of good coffee. Deep, dark, and delicious coffee. These are organic fair trade Arabica beans roasted right in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. We love what we do, and we think you will too. That's why this coffee kicks ass. Wake up with us. There's about a book's worth of stuff on here, but other than right here where it says Central and South America, it doesn't really tell me a lot about this blend or brew or whatever you want to call it, so let's dig in. Well, these are some nice looking beans. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Got a good sheen to them. Nice, big, hearty, whole beans. Bit oily. Randy likes to stay constantly oily. I'm no expert when it comes to looking at coffee beans, but those are some damn good looking coffee beans. When you take a whiff out of the bag, it has two very equal scents, but two very specific scents, to me anyway. One of them is salted dark chocolate covered pretzels. Super simple. A little bit salty, a little bit weedy, definitely the dark cocoa. Then the other side of it smells exactly like a wood shop in an old barn with dirt floors. I think he's on a lot of drugs. <laughs> you have some of that kind of old dusty dirt and wood. But then you also, the main wood that you get here, it's not like a dry this or a dry that. In fact, it mostly smells kind of like a green wood. It's almost like if you keep smelling the aromas out of the bag, you start to imagine like tree sap. Tree blood is fire. Yeah. Some kind of like sappy sweetness. I like that though. It's a nice combination of scents. Really good, strong aromas overall. But anyway, let's stop uh, sniffing the damn beans and get some of this going. So we brewed up some of this grizzly cloth and there isn't much to discuss with these aromas because uh, it is very aromatic but it's basically just chocolate different kinds of chocolates it kind of I mean it reminds me of like a chocolate shop but that's it either my nose is broken since the uh, last update which was the aromas out of the bag or it just smells like a lot of good chocolate good deep rich aroma to it that I like well, we'll see what it tastes like. Hmm. Not nearly as chocolatey as the aromas, I can tell you that. A dark bean flavor, leaves, and a dirty dark chocolate. Like 90% cocoa mixed with potting soil. It's got a medium finish of kind of like greens and minerals, maybe a really tiny trail of that uh, dark cocoa in there. Overall though, it's very smooth has a great body to it. And when you're drinking it, the kind of experience or combination uh, of the aromas with the flavors together, uh, it does actually give you a little bit more of that chocolate, a little bit of sweet from the cocoa, mostly from the aroma. As you know, you know, smell and taste, they work together in many ways. 
Taste comes from smell to some degree. You're a goddamn genius! You must have a goddamn IQ of 160! This isn't a science channel. Back to the coffee. Anyway, what I was trying to say is the combination of the flavors that I'm getting and the aromas do give you a little bit more chocolate and a little bit of a kind of natural uh, balance and sweet component with the slightly darker flavors that I'm getting uh, from drinking it. Overall, I think the aromas are excellent. I think the flavors are pretty good. In terms of like drinkability and mouthfeel, it's actually very good. Like I said, very smooth, very full bodied, no bitterness. I'm just not in love with the individual flavors. Baby, that's a shame. But like I said, overall, pretty good. If I were going to rate Grizzly Claw from, on a scale from 1 to 10 Mike Tysons, I would give it 7.5 Mike Tysons. I thought the actual product, not necessarily the packaging, but the beans themselves looked great. The aromas, both out of the bag and out of the cup brewed, were excellent. The flavors were pretty good, and like I said, the overall drinking experience, I thought, was uh, overall uh, pretty good. A win, a thumbs up whatever you made your point not the best flavors ever or a coffee that i'm like extremely excited about uh you know finishing the bag it was kind of like the presentation and aromas were more like an eight and a half or a nine flavors were closer to like a six or a six and a half so seven and a half that's where we're leaving it i definitely did though enjoy that coffee pretty much overall thought it was pretty good if you've had this coffee definitely leave a comment tell me about your experience with it if you have coffees that you want to send in to be reviewed here on Should I Drink This, email me at shouldidrinkthis at gmail.com. If you want to support this channel and you want to see a lot more coffee reviews and coffee stuff and see my crazy ass, you know, do what I'm doing, go to the link at the top of the video description, sign up at the Patreon page. Uh, you also get access if you sign up there to my giveaways, which do include coffee. I do a giveaway every month, plus I do a giant giveaway at certain milestones. And you also get exclusive access to some of my videos and segments that are not publicly available on YouTube. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Share it, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you at the next one. Who the hell's we? I'm here by myself.